So how was uh, the whole experience? Like, we're at the season, we're at the, the, the party for the show, season's already run. How was the um, engagement from the audience? Well, as a director creating a show, you know, to get away the cast and the crew, it's always nice to hear that people like your show and that the show finds an audience. Um, and I think what makes this day like extra special is that there will be like an interaction. Because normally we make something and we never know how people respond in their houses in a, or in the movie theater. So this time there will be an interaction and we'll understand or see if they laugh at the right moments or scared at the right moments or how they interpret what we ever made. So I know it's just a single book, single season. Is there any chance of continuing moving on with the characters? Well, we bring uh, closure to the story, but we all fell in love with these characters and the world that we've created. Um, so they could go on more adventures, but I leave it to Paramount and uh, TNT to creatively uh, come to an agreement that if there ever was a second installment, how that would look like. So have you worked in Budapest before? No. And it was the first time in Budapest, but I think facilities were amazing. Uh, the city lent itself perfectly to recreate New York, so we used a lot of existing places. Um, so every location had to do with the wealthy uh, world of part of New York that was there but what we didn't have were the tenement buildings uh, who are sort of typically New York so that these are the ones that we had to recreate and I think our production designer did an amazing job in recreating street blocks uh, we built four or five floors high to create this 360 environment so really immersive even on production oh, absolutely so how did you come to the casting like you've got three amazing actors like who was almost John? Who was almost? Like, who, who was almost uh, this like, Well, I think Luke was always, when I came on board, always John Moore, I think. And being able to actually meet Daniel Bruhl, I've been a fan from him since he did um, the, the German film, I forgot the title. But meeting Daniel in, in Berlin, meeting Luke Evans in London, and meeting Dakota Fanning in New York, set the start for an international cast that represents the multicultural melting pot that actually New York was and still is. So I couldn't be more happy with such a cast and I'm happy that they actually were happy to embrace these characters and we're willing to spend 10 episodes um, uh, developing them. So how did this feel versus like directing a feature film? Because it's basically, you're the single director for the entire series. No. And I've never done a feature film. So. No, I've been grown up in television. I've yeah. been working in television. Uh, I think what makes this stand out is, I think, uh, the ability of being able to create a world uh, that doesn't exist anymore. And then, what shows do you watch that isn't the alien? Well, I always like the darker themes. I think what attracted me to The Fall or London Spy, um, and especially The Alienist, is it's a show where characters have dark shadows, they carry secrets, like all of us do. And the interesting part in Alien is that Christ will reconfront his team, will ask his team to confront themselves with their inner demons. And I think the show studies, in some kind of way, the evil that lies, that lies dormant in all of us. And that is dark, but it's also fascinating. Especially with how the show ends, like, with kind of the way that, it's, it's satisfying, but then it's also not. But do we all, will we ever understand the human psyche? That's the other question. And how does evil operate? And are we victims of our childhood? I think all these, there's a lot of questions that I think there's closures, but still a lot of questions. Hopefully to be answered at some point. Good to talk with you, Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you.